and hello again. This is part two of a two-part video of unboxing all the fishes. So if you haven't seen part one, it'll be at the end of this video. Doesn't matter, you can watch this one first. Tons and tons of cool fish. So we are going to now unbox all the wonderful fishes and see what we have. There they are, right there. It's just like magic. Ah. So um, we've already unpacked heaps and heaps of fish in the last video. So there's a link at the back of this video if you haven't seen that. Um, the back of this video, the end of this video. So yes, you can watch that after this one. Um, so we have, what are these? These look like black emperor tetras. So they will go a lovely jet black color. We will place them there. Um, what are those guys? We have scissor tail raspora. Scissor, 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 scissor tail raspora. Um, call that because they have scissors on the back of their tail. They don't really. No idea why they would call them those. Um, what do we got? We have blue emperor tetras. So Kerry tetras. These got a really nice hue of bluey purple through them. They are a lovely fish. We have, what do we got? More blue emperor tetras. So lots of blue emperor tetras. There might be a couple of bags of the black emperor tetras as well. Um, Harlequin raspora. Really, really nice fish. And what else have we got? Uh, ghost glass catfish, so a little x-ray glass catfish you saw in my video I think last week, week before. Um, and we have, what are they, golden white cloud mountain minnows, perfect for cold water tanks. So we will acclimatize these, pop some in the tanks, pop some in the tanks, pop these fish in the tanks, in the tanks, and then we will film that and go to box number two. Golden white cloud mountain minnows, really lovely fish. I said lovely again, but they are lovely. Um, yeah, really nice fish for ponds. They do really well unheated, even at the moment with freezing Southeast Queensland. Uh, great at eating mozzies and stuff like that. We also have the normal ones available. That's your common everyday white cloud mountain minnow. And those are the golden. So exantic, I'm pretty sure they are. So like an albino, but just a little bit different. So lots of these guys back in stock. Black Emperor Tetras, um, haven't coloured up yet, but you can obviously see they're starting to go black. They go black with a really bright blue or green eye, depending on their mood and how the light gets them. Really nice schooling Tetras, so nice and peaceful, really pretty fish. And these are the Kerry Tetras, or Blue Emperor Tetras, just starting to get the blue sheen to them. They will take a little while to colour up, so they're not going to colour up for this video, but you can get to see the sort of iridescence blue through them. Again, a really nice community fish, really great little tetras. You want a group of them, so five or six minimum, but go really well with most other community fish. A terrible angle, but scissor tail raspora. So you get the idea, kind of look like scissors, kind of don't, but yes. And I'm not entirely sure what box I'm up to, but it is another box of fish. Um, so we have, what are these guys? These ones are cherry barbs. So males and females again, really peaceful little fish. Um, we get lots of those in, they are pretty popular. Um, what we don't get in very often are these guys, which are your, I think they're the red fin tetras. So yeah, red fin tetras, they're not the glass blood fin tetras, just your red fin or blood fin tetra. Um, so there should be a couple of bags of that. Oh, didn't realize I had these guys, but Elephant Nose, we have Elephant Nose back in stock. Totally forgot that I was ordering them on the phone, whoops. So it looks like we've got a fair few Elephant Nose. They are pretty freaky fish. We'll show you them in the tank in a bit, as long as they don't hide. So it looks like Elephant Nose, Elephant Nose, Elephant Nose, Elephant Nose. There's probably more in another box. Um, what is that? Oh, one lone archer fish. They said they might've only had one and they have one. So I have one archer fish available. <laughs> they do better in alkaline brackish water um, and full salt. And yep, those are more of your blood fin tetras or your red fin tetra. So let's get them in tanks and then go to whatever box number that is, number a thousand or something like that. We still have those to go. Ah. And there are the elephant nose. So these are Peter's elephant nose. That's just the type they are. Very cool little things. Super, super fast. Excuse the reflection. They do really well on live worms, frozen blood worms, that sort of stuff. How cool are they? Look at their snouts. They're like the best looking fish ever. Like little torpedoes with a snout. There they are, wiggling away. Sorry, really hard to get them on camera. And it's late at night and I'm kind of rushing now. But they are very cool. Really bad video of the bloodfin tetras. Um, you can just start to see them colouring up. They are way back two foot deep in this tank and I've just stirred up the glass so you can actually try and see them. Um, but those are the bloodfin tetras. They will get bright red where you can just see the dull red at the base of the tail. 
it's back to the bucket. Um, they're apparently a Pistogramma agazizi alincure. So you can Google them. Um, name is on the screen, hopefully, if I've had time to put the name on the screen because it's like silly o'clock right now. Um, but yeah, very cool little fish. Um, obviously, it's noticeable males on the, what is it, left bottom of the screen there. That is a male. So males and females available. I'm going to try really hard not to take any home. Uh, but it looks like we've got, what, 10 of them. So there is five pairs available of these guys and girls. Lots and lots of neon tetras again. Um, yeah, a few hundred available. Don't ask me why that Harlequin Raspora is in there, but that is one Harlequin in with the um, yeah neon tetris. But lots of nice sized neons back in stock. This might be the easiest way of filming all the better fish. Um, yeah, before they go into the tank. So these are them in the little cups that they actually come in. So obviously they do not stay in cups. So these are all going to be acclimatized then into our better system. Uh, but it looks like we have tons of koi girls. There is a really nice girl there. Um, lots and lots and lots of deltas. Look at the tail on that one. Um, so very nice better fish. Um, all these wouldn't be a year old and they can live up to 10 years. So we recommend a warm heated tank. Obviously they want the temperature between 26 and 30 degrees. Filtration does help as well with breaking down ammonia and nitrites and that. So I don't really recommend keeping them in bowls or anything like that. So you want about 20 liters ideally, if not bigger. Um, so as I said, they don't usually stay in these. They actually live in those tanks over there. And our better system, which is waiting on all the betters right now, um, has a heater and a filter there and the water gets pumped up into the little tanks. So ideally 20 liter tank, if you're gonna keep them long-term, our better fish don't stay in here longer than maybe a couple of weeks at the most, but they sell pretty quick. So all those better fish on the counter there are gonna go into those tanks. But just quickly again, I will go through what we have. I will show you the nice male koi's as well. Um, they're currently still in the bag, so I still have to acclimatize them, uh, but we're going to cut to that now. That is a nice better fish. Look at that. You know I wanna take that one home, but I'm not going to. These are all gonna be available. <laughs> Um, yeah, so acclimatizing them, I've got them in cups, slowly dripping with our new water in them. Well, manually dripping our new water in them. It is getting quite late. Um, but these are all the males. Um, really nice fish, look at them. Um, they are gonna color up a lot more than what they look like now. Sorry about the flickering, that's just an LED fighting with the, the camera. Well, my phone. Um, yeah, but look how lovely these fish are. They are really, really nice koi. The purple on that one, that is another red speckly one. So these are all the boys, as I was sort of saying just before. Um, we do have girls to match these. Look at that one. Um, they will only color up nicer than this. So super, super cool. Um, yeah, but anyway, um, I think that might wrap up this video. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. Um, it is very late. I still have to sort out all these tanks and stuff before we open tomorrow. <laughs> uh, and it's mainly me and a few friends helping out. So yeah, I'm a little bit overworked at the moment, but that's okay. We will get it all sorted. Long as the fish are happy, we don't mind about the mess on the floor, which I don't like to vacuum anyway. But You've made it this far, so we are doing 20% off better fish. So for the whole week until this date here, which is like next Monday, so you've got this weekend and next weekend and all next week. So 20% off any better fish in the whole entire shop. So not just those ones, but whatever ones we have left out there as well. Um, yes, thank you for watching. Don't forget there is also a deal on the Epistogramma if you watch the video two videos ago, I'm pretty sure it is. but. If you watch that one, you will find a deal on a pistogramma and the pistogramma in this video still goes to that. But yes, thank you for watching. I am going now. Good night.